Hi people, right, so I want to talk about fandom, right, and I get myself, I, I, I get myself mixed up quite a lot in what we should be doing, uh, fandom, but I'll tell you a funny story, right, I'm doing this lockdown on a night shift, uh, working, and I had to drop somebody off at the shops, so I would wait at the car, and so I actually said, right, I can't be bothered getting dressed, right, because I'm just going to drive. So I went with this on. I'm like, jammy bottoms, but black shoes. Just to wait, but I waited outside the car for a bit of air. But that's how crazy people are. And two people came and big a couple came in pink and uh, one one was wearing a very bright pink track shirt and the other one wore a bright green track shirt <laughs> and they were going in the shop dressed as that, I mean it was very very shiny and I thought, oh, listen, I'm just waiting at the car you guys are going in like that you know what I mean, I don't know I might have made a statement of my age or something like that, I don't care but I'll save that sort of debate from my other channel so what I want to get into is of course Batman recently we had uh, more announcements right, about Flashpoint and the thing about Flashpoint is it's it's on, it's off it's on or off and then you've got uh, was it the Flash movie Cyborg somehow confirmed for the movie, right? What is Flashpoint all about? Well, if you don't know what Flashpoint is, Flashpoint is a great uh, book series where Flash goes back in time to save his mum. Uh, it was also kind of imitated in the Flash series, but in this one it changes everything. It changes... Um, what happened to Batman, what happened to his parents and everything else. And this and in this timeline uh, you got Batman's dad became the Batman and Bruce Wayne was shot. I try not to give too many spoilers away of what else happened but the whole system changed. So it's always speculated that um, who's who would play this Batman, and, and a lot of people said, "Well, we've already got a runner. We've already got because BVS had a great Batman, and you wouldn't get this actor for this tiny role if he didn't want to use him more." And that actor is Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who some of you might know from Supernatural and stuff. I've just watched the film uh, Rampage. Um, he's pretty good in that. Uh, he's also in Walking Dead. Uh, but, of course, it sort of went quiet. But, again, because of the movement of the release the Snyder Cut, we have it coming out again. Right? So this is what... We got this covered. Website says Batman v Superman Donna Justice had a, a ton of world building to do in order to really establish the DCEU, and it always felt a bit unnecessary to include a flashback that saw Bruce's parents getting killed on screen. Yet again, I mean, we all know the origin. You know what? I'm not going to read this little bit, okay? Because, um, it's, I'm going to kind of edit this because some of this stuff, editors of these pages, I don't know, I just find them annoying. That being said, Morgan has frequently teased the possibility of returning as the Flashpoint version of Batman with the upcoming solo film for The Flash. The most likely place that we'll see this character, the, the pack will reportedly take much inspiration from the Flashpoint arc in the comics. After all, which set up an alternate history where Bruce was the one who was killed in the alley and the father eventually became the Dark Knight. 
I'm not going to read the other bit. We bit of spoilers. So I'm not going to put a link here because it's got spoilers. Given all the trouble behind the scenes uh, on The Flash, it's still unclear exactly what we'll see in the film, but it all seems that all of Morgan's teasing may actually end up coming to fruition. And that's because the Sinner's Spot is reporting tonight that the actor is now circling the role of Flashpoint Batman, which they presumed to reported last month. Apparently the formal talks hasn't even begun yet, but the Sinner's Spot says Flashpoint Batman is indeed in the film and frankly there's no reason to think the role won't go to Morgan, especially as we know he's interested in it. And it's also be something that would send the fans into a frenzy. In any case, with pre-production on The Flash now beginning to heat up, we should learn more soon. Yada, 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 boo, 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 boo. Right. So, I mean, that's... That is fantastic news. And that is because the Snyder fans has basically put things back in motion. We're talking about a Flashpoint movie. We're talking about Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who was once said, uh, you know, it's not going to happen. DCU just can't get together and, you know, stick to their guns and make movies that they plan to do. But now, because of this movement, because of Zack Snyder's command, uh, it actually looks good. Um, it looks promising. So we've got a lot to thank Zack Snyder fans for. Don't mention it. Now, the, the other thing I wanted to discuss is the thing that I keep contradicting myself, and maybe you can help, right? We all look at casts, right? We all look at people who's to play a certain role. Am I blending in with the wallpaper behind me, by the way? This is it's kind of matching in with the wall. Uh, so we all kind of, we look at casts that are, are pictured and, you know, there'll be a lot of news reports about Robert Patterson trying to get in shape for the Batman role. Who's who's with that? I talked to somebody and I, it doesn't seem to gel with him, this, this film. Uh, it, he's not bothered about it, uh, a friend of mine. And then, of course, I've seen Deathstroke uh, and Rampage just... Uh, just recently there, I just watched it on Amazon, uh, I, and um, it, it, it makes me question, you know, what, what, why, uh, why we got these ideas who should be in the role, and I've often said that it doesn't matter who's, who's in the role as long as they do a good job, it doesn't matter about appearance, or anything else. Like, for instance, I was one to support Jesse Eisenberg, right? Because um, I liked his portrayal as Lex. It didn't matter if he had hair on his head. It didn't matter if he was a kind of small, teenager kind of looking guy instead of the big bulk guy that you saw in the Superman animated um, cartoons. Um but then I find myself contradicting myself because then when I look at my heroes, right, I'm thinking Ben Affleck is the bomb, is Batman, he built himself up more, he's, he's the tallest Batman, he's the look-wise, he's got it, the suit is fantastic. You know, people always comment on what the outfit looks like. Then we have Henry Cavill, fantastic build on the suit, he's even got the look of what we see in the comics. So again, I find myself kind of contradicting myself because I say, he's got the look. You look at Superman in the TV series, Superman and Lois Lane, and you're like, no, he ain't got the look. You know, that guy played, was it a werewolf or a vampire or something in the, uh, the Twilight Saga or what, what? No, he was, I think he was a teen werewolf in the TV show. That's, that's, I think that's where he was. Um... And, and so I find myself, like, I'm okay when it comes to the villains. The villains can be whoever, as long as they get the the heart and the, the basis of the character. But I think for heroes, heroes have got to become this uh, this idea, okay? This, this vision of hope, of strength, 
Uh, you know, we look at Batman and Teen Titans, and we went and uh, in the Titans TV show, and I'm thinking he's way too old, right? What is he? He he doesn't look like he's trained for most of his life. He looks skin and bones. We need to beef him up. Why? That's right, bad choice. And hello, uh, excuse me, but Jeff Johns, the person who writes good stories, at least. How could you choose to have somebody like that? So we we have, you know, so we do have this idea of heroes. But I find myself, I'm okay with villains. So let me know. You know, when I look at Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Batman, I see it because we've seen him in the... The comedy thing, but this is again a guy that's uh, not 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 the comedy, the comedian who was in the Watchmen. But I find myself contradicting myself. Where you know, but I do see him. I do see him as Batman. I do see him as because it makes sense because he was in BVS and he looked, you know, with his fit, uh, his fist clenched. It looked like he could do, you know, that like he's got it in him to become the Dark Knight. Uh, so I want I want to hear your views on what uh, and because I know it will all be different and it should be different about do you find yourself judging somebody before you've actually seen the film, right? Uh, I mean I, I look at Robert Patterson I can see I can see it in the face I know he can build himself up but the costume is mm, uh, the the costume no. It's, it's uh, again, and the costume, I would say, is also a vital, vital part of, of accepting that sort of hero, you know, um, and it's, it's amazing how many different kills we can get for something that just goes over the eyes and two pointy ears. We are so, so judgmental when it comes to our heroes. But for me, less judgmental when it comes to the villains because they can they can portray evil in so many different ways. So let me know. I've got to talk now. The whole family's coming downstairs. But let us know in the comments below how you feel when it comes to choosing your heroes. How how what do you do when it comes to when you suddenly see um. Well, there's Christian Bale. For me, he shouts a lot. He's angry. You do that. It's imitated a lot on YouTube. He's, you know, I don't remember him bulking up. He wasn't Batman in the universe. I prefer Ben Affleck. He's got the look. He's got the attitude. He's got the, you know, he's not having to growl. So for me, that is that is great Batman. Um, and again, when you look at the Batman animated cartoon series... It's the voice that does it, but when you see the bat, the guy who does the voice and portraying the Batman, old Batman, and it's like, mm, nah. <laughs> so let us know. Let us know. Do you argue with yourselves when it comes to choosing who's going in the role? And uh, do you sort of argue with yourself and says, "I'm contradicting myself here. It's not real." Right, um, let's just wait for the movie to come out. But again, that's fandom, that's fans, that's passion, you know. And it's that sort of passion, that sort of hate that, that made us stand up for Zack Snyder's Justice League. That's now, maybe we will get the Ben Affleck Batman, you know. That makes us go to the shops and, and, and just show our support and damn everybody else. Let us, let us know your story, okay? And thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Thank you.